Daily Mail reports MSNBC host Joy Reid should be fired for her Trump assassination conspiracy theory, furious Americans say. I don't know if she should be fired. I think MSNBC should be sh- sued for $3 trillion, or yes. the GDP of France, yes. Yes. and the family of Cory Comprator, Donald Trump, and the other two victims should be entitled to $3 trillion, which, of course, may be unreasonable, so we can settle with $1.5 billion from uh, MSNBC yeah. and Joy Reid personally. I mean, that's the precedent, right? I mean, that's... I, I th- and I, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. And I feel like Joy Reid has less hair every time I see her. Now she's just given up and shaved it. But the, um, you know, oh, I think... She really? No, she's got hair there. It's just hard to see because it, it... Oh, it's she blown out the lighting. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, the um, <laughs> black Superman shirt, too. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, she's growing cr- increasingly unhinged. She's one of those people that, Tim mentioned earlier, is definitely bummed he missed. <laughs> like, he, she is like... It's gross. Yeah, she's like at home crying like upset thinking that her dream like and then she's going and making these unhinged videos she's saying he wasn't even shot implying yeah. that conspiracy theory that trump yeah that's saying it was a hoax Do you remember that clip we watched earlier in the week where she was saying for some reason he was allowed to stay on stage and yep. take that photo like she just hates this moment part of it is they they really hate donald trump and Absolutely. anything that can could possibly be good for him you know surviving an assassination attempt rallying a crowd in support having ha- an iconic photo like they ha- just can't yeah. stand it Sorry. having having a competent 15 year old granddaughter who's able to express herself they went after you know, her on too. the stage yeah. exactly yeah. so i mean they, 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 you're right they can't handle anything good about this man they always have to demonize him that girl's gonna be a big star one day too you just tell She's well, be great i thought that the the rnc you know first day aside i thought the rnc was actually a, a, a big testament to family i thought we saw that with mm-hmm. the trumps and the, the vances and a couple different people you know had i can't remember her name but the mom who came up and talked about her son who uh died the of a fentanyl, fentanyl overdose yeah. i mean there was, was there story, was a really yeah. strong uh um remembrance of how sacred and how important the family is throughout this and it makes me think in contrast of you know so many you know liberal progressive icons who are sort of like alone childless they yeah. hate when other people are yeah. happy and in some ways i feel like joy reed you know and i don't you know i don't watch a lot of her content i, I watch MS- msnbc yes yeah, so you, you love her. i wa- i do watch msnbc oh, see, you flipped. but part of it so is like joy you want to know you got to get your content you somewhere be, yeah and like with joy reed <laughs> Everyone around her probably cheers her on when she says something more yeah, and more extreme yeah. about Donald yeah. Trump. But but this person is influential. You just said that that she hates Donald Trump. There's there's people within the government that listen to her that 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 uh, essentially are preached to her, believe what she believes in. The government has been pretty ruthless uh, against Donald Trump. And I kind of want to bring this back. What makes you think that that they somehow will stop at a certain level in order to, uh, uh, of course, not try to stop Donald Trump? What what, what do you think? What do you think is is the barrier that that's holding them back from committing this ultimate action that they've been kind of leading up to themselves like what's what's the barrier there that's making you believe that at at this time they stop being ruthless they stop being evil at this time they stopped uh, making these aggressive steps against donald trump well my personal belief would be like if i thought that that was going to be happening there's no point in going on in, in like orderly discourse within society You've got to make some assumptions, and one of the fundamental assumptions you've got to make is that there is still still rule of law, by and large, in America. And is even th- even though President Trump, I believe, has been charged unfairly, how many times has he been indicted? I and I said that right there. Yeah. Even though he's been in, in, you know charged unfairly, that's that's from a different aspect. I mean, you can do all your scheming and all your things about we're going to pass this legislation, we're going to pass this, we're going to go at them with lawfare. And try but to when, keep them off the ballot. Right, over and that right, was exactly. Thing. But when you go into like, the realm of we're going to do physical acts of overt violence, that's a whole nother level because it's no way is it even defensible from a legal standpoint. You can't do that and get away with it. So you've got to at least believe that that much of America is left and worth fighting for because if you don't you're already living in anarchy 